This is probably going to hurt. Let's see. Um... Need to assess. It gradually amasses energy over time. Dealing damage or blocking its attacks will cause it to lose energy. Once all of its ener energy has been depleted, it will become pressured. Oh. Oh my god! Well, that sucked. Good to go. So much pain. Wait, what happened to the cloud? There we go. Oh god, he's do he's doing the thing again. I'm feeling pretty weak. Oh, that's so much for being a mercenary. Uh yeah, bare knuckle boxing a lion and lost. How you doing, Awell? Ow. Is that our uh sign of you probably shouldn't be fighting this guy yet? Resume playing from just before the last battle. Yes, please. Pain. Lots of pain. Um, hmm. Well, I'm glad that's optional. Let's go ahead and see what else we can do here. Defeat the Fiend. That's the Livestock's Bane. We've got Phenomenon Intel 1, the Coastal Lookout close by. Okay. I'm all down for running for my life. And seeing what's over here instead. How was work today? How many people did you have to disappoint by not having any more glasses? Quite a bit, to tell you the truth. I mean, people were showing up expecting like 200 glasses today. And that was not, ava not available. Fortunately, most of them were understanding. They were just like, oh, okay, well, we, you know, we figured we'd at least try. Go, mighty chocobos. Let's see what this uh, phenomena is. We also got Fiend Intel 1 here. This is different. they stick around to view it? A lot of them did, actually. We had all of our... We had tons of, of stuff for them to see. We had scopes of all different makes and models. Um, we even had pieces of paper, old-school solar finders. Solar viewfinders. Whoa. Wait a minute. Do we scour? Hmm. Well, we'll, we'll continue on. Looks like we got some ruins down here. I actually underestimated um, how hot it was going to be today. It was in the, it was in the 80s, like high 80s, until the eclipse happened. Then it dropped about 10 degrees, but I got a little bit crispy. Area of interest discovered. Rare toxic variant identified. Come in. 
commencing guidance protocol. The pungent odor that these fiends release when threatened is so effective at driving away predators that their population has exploded. This particular variant is extremely dangerous, capable of spitting toxic fluids on its prey before attacking in mass. Such tactics allow them to hunt creatures as large as alpha dogs. Well, thanks. I hate it. Yeah, no, no one brought any welding hoods. No, Alright. Keep the pressure. I have assessed these critters before, right? Yes. Ice. Does anyone here have any ice? Keep it together. Yes. All right. Got some good news after that thrashing at the beginning. Party level experience increased to two. Let's go. You had yours. That's good. It was pretty cool to see, even if we weren't in the path of totality. Even with 92% coverage, it was impressive. Hey, Dama. What's going on, buddy? I know it's, I am sensing something nearby is... Yeah. Well, I guess I just gotta stay here. Hey, Burning Earth. All the cool folks are in the chat today. I love it. Did we get this? Oh, we also got a scenic spot here at the grasslands. I don't know exactly how we're going to get there, but... And we did get this one taken care of. This Pokey Stop. Not Pokey Stop. The uh, Chocobo Stop. Wrong franchise, wretch. Excavation Intel. Oh, yeah, we also have the card quest. So much to do. Moogle intel as well. Still trying to get the... Oh. I did not need to jump. It was right here. A ruby! I'm all down for riches. Thank you, Chocobo. Chocobo. 
Is there something we need to be aware of here? Apparently not. Just a broadcasting tower. Nothing to see here, folks. So I'm wondering if there's a way that we can just zerg. Oh. Hey, Cloud. Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? These are known as guide stones. Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones uh -huh. emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Sanctuary. Um, all right. Follow. The grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In the age of myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. Oh, a cave. Awesome. What could possibly go wrong here? Sanctuaries contain the crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning materia. The path to a sanctuary is lined with guide stones. Break one to release a light that would lead you to said sanctuary. I mean, it looks pretty cool. We have to what now? Examining the summon crystal will reveal its memory matrix. A series of points will appear in order, and you must memorize their positions and necessary timing. The points will then disappear, and you must make inputs at the correct times to replicate the matrix. If you succeed, you will weaken the summon in its combat trial and strengthen its corresponding materia. Okay. What we do. I do it in one? Sick. First try. I thought it was going to give me at least a little bit more guidelines. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Well, I'm delighted. Also, in terms of leveling up, we're at party level two. So does that mean we get to... Oh, we need to go visit a... Mm-hmm. You go visit a vending machine. All the time and money that went into this game and they didn't match the lip sync and the communicator. I don't know. That might be a thing. That might be my fault, Burning Earth. I'm not sure. 
No, actually. Everything's still pretty synced on my end. Maybe there's a little bit of lag. They are trying to contact me from far away. I mean, whatever excuse we can get away with, right? Orcs! My turn. It's here. It's on you. Um... Who were we working on before? We were working on Aerith! I remember now. Someone looks kind of shaky. No time to celebrate. Excellent. We do need to go by a con or a uh, vending machine and get some potions. I notice we are running quite low. I guess we can craft them, right? Well, this looks interesting. Thank you, Pesky. A lighthouse. Nothing good has ever happened to a character going to a lighthouse. Cool. Let's check around, just because we can. Shut. Monkey! So, we can't get in here yet? I guess not. Interesting. Well, how do we... Maybe the key is buried somewhere. I guess we can't go in here yet. And Chocobo does not sense anything nearby. So what do we do? Um... Travel back to the ranch. Oh, they remind you of the Neko from Jedi Survivor. That's fair. Cloud, I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands, in virtual space. Chohe. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Use combat simulator. Any questions about world intel? Don't be shy now. Fire and ice magic, the auto cast. That one, mm. and the auto, 
unique ability. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Curse balls. <laughs> Sure, I'm okay with this. The Choco Boutique. Oh, hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. It's like, come to the right place. The thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and Billy. I'd wear mine for days. I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason Mom and Dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. All right, we'll take it. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. We're here to help. Let's get to the uh, vending machine here. We will, we will fight Titan, just not at the moment. What's for sale? Another cushion? And another steel materia? I don't really care that much. A talisman would be great for everyone. For magic defense. Earrings would be good for magic attack. So do we just sell this stuff for gold? Like the rubies and emeralds? I guess they would probably be used for other things. You could sell them in case of desperation. Folio level two unlocked. Cool. Required SP five S ranged attack with your partner. And I guess we've unlocked it for everybody. Go ahead and craft. We got enough for smelling salt. And 
and 10 potions will help us. And we don't... Hmm. Oh, we can change the quantity there, too. Uh, that's good. Man, there's so much to take in with this game. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and rest here. And maybe we'll go ahead and see about getting a uh, flower crown made. Which was where? Oh god! That was on the other side of Calm. We also have Moogle Intel. Hmm. Well, the good news is we got most of this cleared out. Let's fast travel to. Forgotten Treads. Hey, Cloud! It seems that a transmitter chip is buried nearby. You should be able to sniff it out with the aid of a chocobo. Once you pinpoint its location, you can ask your bird to dig it up. With that, let the treasure hunt Unearth all the artifacts. Breaks. You can now transmute an enhanced copper bracer? Oh, so these are actually valuable. We can craft arm our own armor. Transmute a cushion? Oh, so it doesn't go through the walls. Interesting. Good to know. Night, Burning Earth. You have a good one. Appreciate you stopping by. Windmill gear. That's quite the transmuter chip you found. In fact, it was once used in the construction of windmills. Yeah. Given its rarity, I would not be surprised if someone had need of such technology. Well, who would need... Maybe someone at the windmill settlement. Huh. 
Anyone we need to talk to over here? Hmm? Or maybe that's someone we just haven't ran into yet. Because remember, we ran through here hoping that we were able to, we were going to find some items and... Aha! Magnificent, isn't it? A Republic original. Yes, indeed. So I assume that's who we're going to need to talk to. Items... Ah. This is going to get us some XP for copper bracers. Enhanced copper bracers. Oh, look at this. Iron ore and a beast pelt for a bulletproof vest. Yeah, we need to be making our own gear. We need a Quetzalcoatl Talon. Um. Sure. Make a bulletproof vest. And some earrings. Well, who do I need to give earrings to? Probably... Increase strength, increase vitality by five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to equip the folks that don't have anything. We also track down Thorin. Let's head to the card shop. Well, hello. Nice digs. Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that butte. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. The dude's wearing a Queen's Blood apron. You game? I will buy cards from you first. A fat chocobo. Oh my god, that's adorable. Titan. And we already bought the... Alright. I'll waste our money on cards. At those cards, boy. M. Raise power by one for each of the enhanced allied cards. Well, that's neat. Let's go ahead and exit. Get both of those out. Get two. Hmm. Oh god, that fat chocobo. And that's fa- oh, I see. Alright. Maybe... Let's do two of those instead.
and give this a shot. I know! He's a fat boy! Um... Let's go ahead and play. I'm trying to remember our lessons. <sighs> that may have not been the best option, but it's okay. I like that uh, Quixicuatl card. That has done some business. Oh, that's all we can do. Uh-oh. I think we won, though. I think. Oh, nope. He has to... He can play one more. And... No. I forgot my lessons. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, he wipes someone out on my side. Um. There we go. Seven. And then eight. Ah, okay. Beat me by one. I keep on forgetting about how the scoring is done. Rematch. Let's... I think we were doing pretty good until we weren't. Try and take this entire bottom row. And then go... I don't know if that was the smartest option, but I just wanted to see what happened. All right. Oh, 
Oh, did we just lock him out completely? I think we did. Yeah, he can't play. All he has is uh, stuff he needs at least two pawns to cast. Much better. We smoked him. Let's continue. Just let's make this uh, devastating. This completely overwhelmed him. There we go. With authority. Raise power by one for each other enhanced ally card. You've got some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. Radio, radio. Well, now that that is done, we probably need to go ahead and return to, to calm. That was nice of Barrett and Red to wait for us. Where's the closest? Just fast travel. Nah. Someone lost some laundry. Um, where is this guy? Ah, yes. Breaking news at this hour. You did it! You got my baby back! To be honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. Why I'm not surprised. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Yeah. He kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. Breaking news at this hour. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. For old times' sake. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although apparently my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. Okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. Oh, relationship with Tifa has deepened. Hmm. That's what we're looking for. We are Team Tifa. Red, stop knocking over bar stuff, dude. All right, looks like our business in calm is currently done with. 
Um, what to do? What to do? Let's see what Moogle Intel is. Oh, we will Chocobo to this location, please. And yeah, just keep going forward. I can already see just how much crap is going to be in this game for us to play, and I say crap in the nicest possible terms. What are you, dude? Oh lord! Evil Chocobo! An avian creature that prefers grassy areas? Okay. Tifa. Don't overdo it. Here goes. Try using it. Sick. You can do it. Taking over. Let's finish. Okay, got that mastered for Aerith. We need to get the dive kick for Tifa, then focus shot and Stardust Ray. So, Tifa will be next up. Look at your armor. Buddy. That is a big mushroom. Is that Papa Smurf's house? What is this? Pop inside a mushroom shaped mog stool to get a peek at the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell with therein. That mushroom. I'm very curious. Enter the mog stool. I'm gonna find out how those Keebler cookies are made. Koopa? Though, I'm sorry to say, we aren't open quite yet, and I'm not even sure when we will be. Koopa! Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Koopo. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping? The Mooglets are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. With this taser. Can open up the Emporium and everyone will be happy, Koopa! <laughs> Cloud's like, I'm in hell. I have died and I'm in hell. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Koopa! Chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back into their mog stool or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just beware their playful little tricks. Get hit three times and the game will end. Ah! Okay, we're doing things. I don't know what we're doing, but it's happening. Oh, the God, they shoot things. There's mines, too. No! No! Yeah, yeah, mule. So their games are magical projectiles. I see, I see. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I hurting them? Am I hurting them here? There we go! Get in there! 
The bombs! Yeah. No, no, no. This is so wholesome and deadly. Ooh, banana peels. Thanks so much, Koopa. It did. I didn't get hit once, though. And not even one blue shell. Thanks so much, Koopa. Now we can finally open the Emporium. Here you can exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great. I promise. I don't believe you. Returning all the Mooglets to their mock stool will grant access to a new shop at which you can exchange Moogle medals for a variety of enticing items. Helping open more Emporiums will increase the Moogles' merchant rank, which will in turn expand their selection. What you got? HP up Materia earrings. Ooh. The art of sword play. A uh, primer on proper sword technique increases Cloud's skill points. And Way of the Fist increases Tifa's skill points. Ooh. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> you JRPG Smurfs. However, it looks like we have a direct line to the photo op, so let's do that. When you stumble upon a particularly scenic location, press square on the main menu to enter photo mode, then take a picture to capture the majesty on film. Once you're satisfied with your shot, speak with snaps again to be rewarded for your photographic efforts. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Barrett. Here's our uh, here's our here's our album cover. <laughs> Open photo mode. That's the that's not the screenshot. Is that the main menu? Ah, okay, this is it. And... Share with snaps. How how do we share this with snaps again? I do not remember. I guess we got that done. Um what's Eastern Seaboard Tower? Oh, 
Oh god, there's a bunch of rubies there. That's nice. That's gonna pay some dividends for us. I want to see what's over here. This is over the, uh... Anything here we need to be aware of? No. Alright. Sometimes you just want to clear that part of the map. Get rid of that fog of war. Let's stick going this way. And we'll get to the next part of the map explored and see what other trouble we can get into. I want to keep leveling up a bit more before we go and try and take on that critter again. You only have your lunch money eaten. Ooh. Oh, there's a... Okay. There's treasure. Never mind. There's a Moogle medal. So there's... Oh, it's way over there. I thought it was the windmill itself. Haha! <laughs> Friend of the gummies, what's your lucky do? I love me a good FF10 reference. How you doing, Wild Saber? Can't find a shoe puff here, unfortunately. Um. This looks like this would look like another nice photo spot. There's the tower we need to go to. Oh, actually, maybe that'll activate whatever that broadcasting tower is supposed to be. Jade Wind Hill. We gotta check all the windmills. There's one treasure. Two treasures. Ah, ah, ah. And if I was the third treasure, where would I be? I'm going to assume over here at the third window. Huzzah! Sweet bottle of ether. 